we are starting with yes yes you know the love bird bonus angels and guides angels and guides we are looking for positive energy for cancer yes 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 for your romantic relationships <laughs> romantic relationships the love birds yes 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 angels and guides we're looking for positive energy uh, we have two there okay so yes we have in your love relationships is maturity and fairy guides and aura cleanse it looks like there is some work to do in your relationship whether it is you or whether it is your love partner there is definitely someone has to do a little bit adulting this week maybe someone needs to grow up a little bit not sure if it's you or your partner definitely some work that needs to be done and i feel like it can be done without fear just it's like just do it just you know i feel like it's um a matter of someone just um growing a little bit just growing a little bit in the relationship just pulling and it feels like it's pulling but you could do it okay all right so let's get on with yes 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 the general message for cancer for seven little days angels and guys angels and guys we are looking for positive energy for cancer for seven little days that is it just seven little days tons and tons of messages cancer so let's get busy okay all right moving on to my mama's deck yes 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 angels and guides angels and guides we're looking for positive energy for cancer for seven little days that is it just seven seven little days angels and guides positive energy please positive energy for cancer moving on to the purple deck yes 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 come on angels what's the energy what is the energy around cancer for seven little days that's it just seven just <laughs> just a seven. Oh, I touched my face. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so angels and guides, angels and guides, positive energy, positive energy for cancer for seven little days. That is it. Just seven, seven little days. And just, just, yes, I want to add. Um, oh, I forgot. I forgot the angels. The Angels of Light deck. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Now, if this is taking too long, <laughs> if this is taking too long, Cancer, you already know what to do. Yeah, just take that little button and just like that. Okay, Cancer, what is going on? I feel like that goes there. What is going on, Cancer, for seven little days? Energy around Cancer Angels for seven little days september september <laughs> april <laughs> april 13th through april the 19th angels and guides we're looking for positive energy for cancer for seven little days seven little days that is it and i feel like that goes there one more please one more one more from this deck yes 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 thank you the angels say two, so guess what? We got to go with two. <laughs> now, I want to add the hummingbird deck. Yeah, I feel like we need a little bit more information because there's so much going on on this planet right now. Yes, there is. There we go. I feel like, yeah, there's a lot going on for you, Cancer. Let's get in and I don't want to shortchange you. No, I don't. If the angels say, yeah, then guess what? It's time to do it. All right, so get your coffee, get your tea, because we're about to get ready to 
yeah, get into this message. Now, major theme for the week, Cancer, is the Ten of Pentacles with the Eight of Clubs, the Five of Clubs, the Crown Chakra, the Angel of Flow, the Seven of Hearts, and the Jack of Hearts. So I feel like this week, abundance is definitely around you. If it's not yours, it may be someone else's, but it's definitely around you. You know this. You definitely know this with the Eight of Clubs. I feel like there is a restlessness in in your mind this week the crown chakra i feel like you're trying to connect you're trying to connect with source you're trying to connect with your angels definitely definitely the angel of flow is saying just you know what when it comes it comes but don't don't try to force it you know when you want to connect when the angels are ready to connect and everything is aligned it will happen with the seven of hearts i feel like there is an element of you being disappointed this week a little bit because you're having to make a sacrifice okay so I, i'm feeling like you are trying to check in with your higher self check in with your angels is this worth making the sacrifice okay now when we look in the recent past we have the knight of swords reversed with the ace of diamonds the five of spades the fertility the angel of buddha nature the nine of clubs and the six of clubs so in the recent past i definitely feel energetically speaking the knight of swords I feel like you were going after something in the recent past. You were very passionate about it, right? I feel like it could have been a new money opportunity or money. It, and I felt like with this, there was a lot of travel or a lot of change. And, and with the fertility card, it just grew and got bigger and bigger. With the angel of Buddha nature, you felt like, you know, you felt at peace doing this. Yeah, because I feel like with this nine of clubs, I, I feel like you were talking about it. I feel like you were talking about this what you were doing and with the six of clubs you felt like it was definitely a part of your journey you, you just knew this was my truth and this is what I'm supposed to do now in the middle of the week cancer we have the ten of wands with the queen of spades the four of clubs the stand your ground the angel of virtue the ace of diamonds and the queen of clubs so in the middle of the week you are definitely working at something you are pushing you are just I, I feel like you are definitely working at something and you know with the queen of of spades it's like you want to you want to change everything around you you just you know i want to i want you to do this and i want you to do that and i need you to do this but really no, it's like you cannot control anything or anyone around you. And that is the work. That is the work. And that is what you, it's almost like that's what you have to get in your head, okay? That you cannot control anything or anyone. Stand your ground. Know that you can't change. Once you get to that point, and you will, once you get to that point that you can't change anything or anyone around you, then you're, you're like, you know what, okay, now I can stand in my power. Now with the angel of virtue, I can do the right thing. With the ace of diamonds, I definitely see you having a new beginning in finances or a new beginning in your value system. But if it is in your finances with the queen of clubs, I definitely feel like this is, um, this is something that, you know, you have to get organized. You have to, um, I feel like, I feel like if this is, if this is a new way to make money, I definitely see it's something in communication, like um, writing, talking, um, texting, whatever this looks like. And, and you're getting definitely in in charge of it. You're getting in order. You're getting everything in order. You're not doing it half-heartedly. You're making a list and you're deciding, okay, I need to do this. I need to do this. And I need to, yeah, that's kind of what I'm picking up. Okay. All right. So just remember, I feel like, I feel like the thing, whatever this is that you can't control, don't try to control it. Don't try to control the outcome. Focus on starting something new, okay? That's that's where you're, like, this thing that's old right here that, that you're trying to change and manipulate, don't, don't do it. No, it's just, just get it in your head. You can't change it and go for something new, okay? Now, when we look into the near future, we have the three of swords and the three of spades, the ace of spades, the angel, the solitude card, the 
angel of reflection, the eight of diamonds, and the king of spades. So I see by the end of the week, there is a lot of worry, and it's worried so much that it affects you emotionally. And yeah, you know, there's a ton of worry. I feel like there is a ton of worry going on. Now here, listen, okay. Yeah, Linda, listen. <laughs> um, okay, so these two threes right here, there is a ton of worry. Now, you could worry or you could decide to take that energy and do something creative. You could write a book. You could um, create a screenplay. You could um, bake cakes in a very creative fashion, um, create an app on the iPhone or, or something of that nature just to take your mind off of yes, yes, yes. Yes, because you don't want to get down so much into this worry with this Ace of Spades that you start having a little bit of, of like, um, not, like, I want to say shadowy thoughts, if that makes sense, right? Right, because with this Ace of Spades and Ace of Spades, with this Solitude card, I do see you spending time alone, worrying and reflecting, Angel of reflect, reflecting on whatever this is that you're worrying about, but you have a lot of power at your disposal. You have the power, financial power, to do whatever it is that you want to do. So I feel like whatever this is, this worry, do something creative. Take this energy. I, I feel like it's... Um, what What is it that you love to do? If, if you love to, to talk, you know, um, get your own YouTube channel. If you... And, and, and do something, in, something creative. If you love to um, race cars, you know, talk about race cars. If you love to bake cakes, talk about bake cakes, baking cakes, okay? Because you can do whatever it is that you choose to do. You can take this energy and you can kind of get a little bit depressed or something like that, or you can take this energy and do something creative with it. Now, when we look at your bonus, Cancer, when we look at your bonus, you have the Page of Wands reversed with the Empress card reversed, the emperor, he wasn't reversed, <laughs> with the knight of wands, uh huh. the fool card reversed, the ace of pentacles, the six of spades, the jack of spades, a lot going on here, mental conflict, angel of spiritual tempest, and angel of beauty, the queen of diamonds, ace of clubs, five of spades, nine of of diamonds. Okay, so are you ready? Are you ready? So basically the page of wands is like you're waiting for something to happen. You're definitely waiting for something to happen. The Empress card is she's not moving. This energy of of like I don't see whatever it is that you're waiting for emotionally speaking, it's not moving. It's it's not moving and I see the Emperor card is like you're going to try to make a move, okay? You're going to you're definitely going to try to make this move. With the knight with the knight of, of wands, I feel that you are going to be aggressively trying to make this move, but with the the fool card being reversed, it's it's not going to move. It's not going to move. It, the angel the aim the Ace of Pentacles is saying, start something new. Start something new. It's going to last a lot longer. With the Jack of Spades, I feel like it's something that you've always wanted to do, right? But you've always had mental conflict about it. With the Spiritual Tempest, you've always been tempted to do it. But the Angel of Beauty is saying, go ahead. You can be, you can do this. You definitely have whatever it takes to do this. This Ace of Clubs is saying it's a new beginning. It's a new beginning in thought. Make that change. Make that change knowing that the Nine of Diamonds, you have whatever you need. You have the wish card to do whatever you need. So whatever is not working in your life, do not make it work. Do not force it. Do not, yeah, don't do it. Just put it aside and start something new, okay? So I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.